Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Factorio. I hope you're enjoying this series. I know that I am and uh, I have been busy in between the episodes. We have been getting things prepared for expanding our line over there, our production line. That's always going to be expanding. Um, you can see here at the moment I am doing lab efficiency too. We have done the first one. We did it with handcrafted potions that I've been making while I've been doing other jobs around the place. So we are now doing level two. I've made a hundred of these for them and hopefully we can automate the last 50 and uh, the idea is to get these lab efficiency ones out of the way because it's going to make all further research um, a lot quicker. So I've done a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, first of all let's have a look at the walls around the outside of the base. You can see I've kind of marked off this area. There's no gun turrets to defend this place. Um, it's just kind of where we're going to have a few gun turrets in the future. Now I don't really see myself expanding in this direction too much. Um, most of what I know about the game so far means we're going to expand in the direction to the right. And as we get towards the end game stuff, I do get a, an impression that there's a lot of it that I don't know about as well as the stuff that I do. By the way, these repair packs, you can uh, craft those and just right click on them like this to repair the walls and these things can take a real beating which is good because sometimes it takes me quite some time to get out um, to where we are being attacked. So this thing goes all the way down here down to the bottom where the cursor is and then across. I try to pick the most optimal place you know to connect it up with the water then as well as that over on this side there's another one. I've got to say hate recording at night. <laughs> it looks so bad. Um, let's put down a little light over here just so things are a touch better. We're mining a bit more ore down here as well and then down here we've got a wall. This one gets attacked quite frequently. It's like a little um, little way across that they like to come through at. And then over on the other side, over to the right, I haven't really expanded the wall much. The reason why is because I'd like to get the gun turret situation sorted out, uh, perhaps upgrade them a little so we could actually expand it out to the right. So if you look at the mini-map, over here where the water is, I'm thinking that might be a good point somewhere up there, just because it's a little bit lower really. Uh, but then again it's close to these bases so I'm not sure how expanding out to the right is going to work at the moment um, but it's going to uh, take us some time. So what else have I done? We had a little coal project at the end of the last episode and you'll see here that I've started setting things up for the next step. We'll talk about that in a moment. I did have about seven of these electric mining drills running or maybe even eight and uh, that attracted a lot of bad guys so I took them down you know they caused pollution and then they stopped um, attacking as frequently. So we are storing a ton of coal over here. Oh wow, look at that, it's already full up. Okay, I did not expect to see that. That is very cool. Good to see that this little thing is working. We'll expand this as we go along. What I was thinking we would do is we would move this down by one, the track, and then just you know eventually build up a big square of uh, chests. Although that might not be quite as useful for taking them out later if we ever need it. But yeah, the idea there is just to uh, remove all of this coal, which is going to take an incredibly long time to do. Um, because it's right next to all of this. So what else have we done? I have uh, done uh, some other researching as well. Let's just open up that screen. I've crafted some armor for myself by the way, I forgot to do that last episode. We have uh, researched some weapons, so we now have a shotgun. And uh, if we go over here towards the trees, you can actually shoot the trees down. I need to select the right one. I think it's Q. There you go, Q to rotate for your weapons. And look at that, you can shoot down the trees. Now we have a ridiculous amount of wood here, so shooting down all of these ones that are in our way is what we're going to be doing. So that means we'll probably want to make some uh, upgrades to our weapons as well. So getting this this next bit up to where we want to be is important because we can automate a lot more of the research because we'll just be selecting what needs to be done and this thing will be producing all of the potions we need. So um, let's see where we are with... Actually, no, what I wanted to look at is this. Okay, so these upgrades are relatively cheap. They'll take a few labs to do. We might upgrade the amount of labs that we have. So this episode we're probably going to be focusing on upgrading our military stuff, our weapons, and these gun turret damage things as well. We want to make our gun turrets more efficient for the fuel that they're using. Um, so yeah, there, there's a few things that we're doing. And I haven't had a full look at this just yet. There might be one or two other ones that turn out to be important. At the moment though, looking through this, I don't think there is and uh, we've researched steel, that's another one we might need to do soon. Anyway, um, let's talk about the setup over here then. So, just like what we've done on this side, we have uh, another bunch of assembling machines. The one at the bottom are a bit more advanced, so we'll come to those in a second. The one at the top here is doing the same old thing. It's taking what it needs off of the track, and this thing is going to craft, I think it's conveyor belts, so we need iron and iron cogs. So this one here is iron cogs, so let's get this thing going by the way. Um, <laughs> can't see it, there it is and then this one is going to be iron cool stuff I should have probably pre-set up these things though I wanted to leave it like this so you could kind of see it all come together you know 
and see it start producing stuff as we set it up. So there we go, they're now making those, they go onto this track over here. It's very nice and neatly arranged at the moment, I do like this. Now this one over here is a little bit more advanced. The reason why is because we want to make inserters, and these require free raw ingredients, which you can't do in the other one. Now this also means that our tracks are limited to two ingredients, so we have two tracks that we're pulling from, and it just so happens that the electric circuits are on this side right here, so I thought it would be a good idea to line this up right against it, then these long-handed inserters can reach over and grab them from that side over there. And they've already put them in, which is cool. So the other two things that needs is a iron gear and an iron plate. So let's just set that up again. That one is the gear, I do believe. This one is the plates. And now we're going to be automatically producing the inserters, which is great. So we got inserters and belts done. Uh, what we'll want to do somewhere along the line is actually create a little chest that pulls these off because we'll want to have our own uh, stockpile of those so we can pick them up and uh, use them because we're constantly using them, of course, and that means we no longer have to craft them, which is fantastic. Uh, but it also means that we can now automate the science packs. You can see transport belts and inserters, and uh, these are right up the top here. So it's actually going to be... Let me just double check that. Yeah, it's going to be really simple to do this. We're just going to uh, pull off of this one right here. So what I'll probably do is just put down a couple of inserters or maybe the fast ones and have the track point upwards. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I'm kind of tempted to route this up and then back down again, but I think we'll just take from it with inserters. That'll be the best way to do it. Looks like our uh, electric demand satisfaction is absolutely fine. Let's just uh, click on that quickly. No problems at all. Looks like we've got a little bit to spare. It might come to its knees soon. See, the thing is, as soon as these potions start being consumed for research, then all of the materials are going to be consumed again, and then that means you know that the stuff comes down the line, all of these turn back on, and more things are happening everywhere. So it might come to its knees in a little bit. Um, and then we're also going to be expanding uh, the amount of gun turrets, so that will come on soon as well. So anyway, let me get that set up. Let's get this uh, second tier of potion thing going. We're going to send it along the line here, so I'll probably need to reconfigure this so we can have both red and green potions going down this way. So let me do those things and I'll show you it when it's done. So here's an interesting concept. I was looking at where this track was going to go and I was thinking, right, we're going to put it around the top, put it down here, and then I thought, well, if we expand it in the future, that's going to be a little bit of a pain. So if we just do this, run the track through the middle here, then the ones up the top can point downwards. And that's no real problem at all, I don't think. I don't think that's ever going to cause some backup issues. Maybe you could argue um, the way that the items buffer up back on the tracks is a little inefficient. I don't know. Uh, but then over here we have a big problem. So what we're going to do is run across and pick up all of these ones. Actually, we just want the ones from the top. And uh, then the green ones are going to come oh, all the way down here. So now the production should back up a little bit. But what we want to do is actually chuck most of these into each of these. Can I have 200 in one? Okay, we want to spread this out a little bit. But by doing this, it just means the inserters are not going to put them in. So they can back up um, on, the, on the line while they're getting used in here, which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to split these out and put them into the different things. And now I'm not sure what the next step is, actually. I want to divide these up a little bit better. Let's... Go back to this one, put some in there, and uh, why do we have some red ones? Did I miss some red ones? I think we must have. There we go. And yeah, I think the next thing now, I'm actually not sure what it is that we're going to do next, but it's probably a lot of research, and while we're doing that, I'll start to figure out what comes after that. And our performance still seems to be, oh no, it's a little bit low, so we'll be expanding this over here as well. And um, what I'll probably do is put a splitter somewhere down here and run another line across, and then we'll have a similar setup to this. That should work out okay. Or maybe it'll be above. I'll figure it out. We'll redo that. And uh, there was one other thing I wanted to mention over on this side, by the way. I used a splitter over here. I was thinking about what's the best way to get both of these off the same track. And I realized we could use a splitter. Now, these are kind of new to me. They're really useful. They were in demand back when I used to play the game, which was around 20 months ago, by the way. Fun little fact for you. And, uh, yeah, they seem to split them up evenly. Now, let's say there's only uh, these guys coming through. The inserters are, you know there's not enough of them on the line for some reason, then there might be a bit of an issue. So I'll keep my eye out for that. But if it works like this, if it just splits it up um, perfectly, then it's going to be great, isn't it? So I will keep my eye on that. Could become an issue. I just don't know at the moment because I haven't used that before. But it does look like we could do with some more burners. So um, I might make a couple more of these machines. Actually, we're low on iron cogs. So why are iron cogs low? We're getting the iron in on one side. Maybe it's this thing. It's not fast enough. It looks like the one at the top is busy. Almost. 
Okay, so we could expand this, but I think actually the iron isn't coming in fast enough. So the way we do that is just put down a, another smart inserter, turn that track to the side a little bit, and then that problem uh, will be solved. We already have plenty of tracks. That reminds me of one last thing, by the way. Let's quickly just do this um, so I don't forget. Uh, what are we looking for? Iron. Where is it? There we go. Okay, so that should uh, help that a little bit. I've got a chest down the bottom here that's only got four of these, so we can take out uh, 200 at a time. But there you go. So the plan is to do a ton of research and then figure out what we're going to be doing next. Look at these guys. Listen to the hideous noise that they make. I've got the shotgun at the moment, so it's probably just going to hit the wall. Yes. Let's uh, swap to the pistol and just take these guys out. And these alarms, by the way, I'm not picking up on them. I don't know what it is, but I've just I've been attacked quite a few times and not noticed it. We might have even been recording and that little alarm was going off. So if ever that does happen, don't worry yourself. For some reason, I don't know why, but the alarm sound just isn't playing anymore and I don't seem to notice it down the bottom there. Hopefully it's not too much of an issue. Um, at the moment, by the way, we are actually running out of iron coming in here. It looks like one of these has dried up. I put it right on the edge. Remember how I think the last episode we discovered that you can actually plop it down like that? And you'll see it says 4.2k, even though there's no actual uh, iron thing. So I've been doing that, and uh, yeah, we're just going to expand production here. So I've been doing things. can't remember what the plan was the last time, but you can see we've done uh, gun turret damage, and we're going to go for the next level. I've also done bullet shooting speed and bullet damage. I don't know if that applies to the gun turret as well, because it uses bullets, but... Um, there you go, so I've done those, and I've also done armor crafting. Must remember to uh, craft one of the next tier of armor. Looks like we're going to need a lot of materials, including steel, so now we have a reason to get that. Uh, but the, t the time that I've been playing in between, um, I've been trying to expand our power production over on this side. I've kind of re been redoing this a little bit. We'll talk about that more when it's finished. And I can hear... I thought I could hear shooting in the game sound. Never mind. Um, yeah, but I had to take this down because as soon as I started expanding it, we just got attacked on all different sides. We got attacked up the top corner here. Down the bottom, I had them running through this area here. What was interesting is that they actually came and attacked me rather than these buildings. So I think when you're in range of them, they will attack you instead of the buildings, which is, uh, well, it was good in this case because I didn't notice them until they started attacking me. Um, so yeah, things have been, hmm, things have backed up a little bit here. We don't have many of these being produced. Why is that? Why did they stop producing them? Because there's no iron. Okay, there's a shortage of iron. We need to make more of it. A huge shortage of... Man, I just can't pronounce things at the moment. A huge shortage of iron. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to increase the amount we're producing here. Ah, I see. It's because of the... Uh, yeah, this right here. The transport belt. It's backing up the buffer of ammo. That makes complete sense now because I've expanded the line down here and I've set up some gun turrets down the bottom here. This is where I've been getting attacked frequently, so now we've got these, they'll take care of the guys uh, down the bottom here. And this is what we're going to be doing next. We're going to be expanding this line, I'm going to expand our iron production to keep up with it, and we're going to be putting these uh, gun turrets around our borders. So, over on these sides, they're probably going to be spaced out a little, because I haven't been attacked too much. Same up the top there. Then somewhere over on this side, I need to decide where this wall is going to go. So this will get expanded as well. Um, it's going to be quite tricky to do, though, because there's some bases over there. And obviously what you want to do is set up your first wall as far in this direction as you can, because you're going to have to take it down and rebuild it at some point. And I'd say where we are right now is probably within the scope of what I could do on the line, but I know there's more things to do after it. So it will be a good idea to just push it out a little bit further, which is probably what we'll do. So that is the plan, I do believe, at the moment. More research. Um, get the iron going, because we're crafting a lot of this. Oh, that's the other thing that I wanted to show you. You may have noticed this over here. We have a little makeshift setup. This is temporary. What I've done is I've split the iron and the copper track, because we need it to make some gun turrets. And we've got a little setup right here where we're making the uh, iron cogs on this side over here they're going straight into the assembly machine which uses the copper and iron and this makes the gun turrets and I've put it so it's only going to make four stacks now the reason that this is temporary and it's been made like this because obviously it's a little bit makeshift is because eventually we will move on to laser turrets so we don't want to use the gun turrets forever that thing will get taken down in the uh, in the future so I've been putting in the time doing the work things are coming along quite slowly actually and uh, I've just been putting some iron into these furnaces up here to get some steel just so we can get that next level of arm, which is pretty cool. So let me show you what we've done. We've extended the guns around this side, and these are all really close together, and we hardly get any animals. In fact, we haven't had any, and they're not animals, they're monsters, but <laughs> we've had hardly any of those over on this side over here. And I was thinking I'm kind of recreating what Zistu done 
uh, in his gameplay, which was to just kind of go dun 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 and you know get as many of these things down as possible. And actually, what we could do is be a little bit more conservative here because we have more borders to defend, as uh, the map he played on had lots of water around, which really kind of helped with that. So um, because of that, I've decided to space things out. So over the top here, you can see they're spaced out. Haven't put down. Um, the transport belts or the inserters yet but like those they're really easy to do you know just run along um, slapping them down the thing that we need to do at the moment is this side over on the right here I've been attacked a lot over here and uh, it's really driving me mad but as you can see I've cleared out the forest here and uh, look at that are they broken through again oh this looks bad when did they break through okay so once again I must have missed the notification somehow sometimes it just doesn't seem to grab my attention even though it makes the noise and it looks like they've destroyed uh, quite a few here and yes I've been upgrading my shotgun we're doing shotgun damage and shotgun shooting speed we're gonna do the shooting speed again I think so I did most of this on the basic one but um, if we select the shotgun and I hold down spacebar you can just walk around like this blasting away the trees and I've got to say, I was thinking about this a moment ago, the shooting speed obviously helps, but the damage seems to help this as well. I do wonder sometimes, you know, because uh, having played Minecraft, you know, you look at the game mechanics a little closer, um, you know, is this going to do the damage on the mobs, or will it do it on everything? And it does it on trees as well. These are definitely being blown away a lot quicker. So that's a good thing. We're going to continue upgrading that, continue clearing out this area for production. And uh, that's kind of where we're at right now. We're being attacked on this side over here. That's cool. That's the first time that's happened. I don't think I'm going to go over there and investigate um, because I know that area is plentif uh, plentifully stocked up is what I was trying to say. There's also ammo on the other side of the track there. So I'm going to do all of this. Let me just put um, a couple more while we're over here. I decided I want to... Uh, actually, I didn't actually decide. I couldn't make up my mind. I had an idea to create an ammo buffer where we'd put some uh, chests between our line right here and where we create them over here. So these inserters would put them into chests and then other inserters would take them out. So when this thing was backed up, the chests would just fill up, which seemed like a, a good idea. However, we might end up with too much ammo because after this, we do want to move on to laser damage and we're being attacked over on the right-hand side again. Uh, let's see, where are they? Yeah, look at this. These guys are nasty. I had to run away from them because they were hurting me quite a lot last time. Wow, let's uh, change to the correct weapon. These guys are real strong now. Look at this. It's taking a while to take them down. I wouldn't be surprised if they broke through one of the walls. There we go. These things do the shooting animation when they uh, have no ammo in. So we can repair these now as well, which is cool. And sometimes it doesn't display the little health thing underneath them as well. That's usually when you've got them uh, stacked up going across, but it seems to be fine right there. So yeah, we've got some work to do. And uh, like I said, we're going to be moving on to laser turrets. So once we've got our basic gun turrets up, I think steel will be the next one. And then we'll look at going towards laser turrets. Cannot remember what exactly the plan was at the beginning of the episode, but this took a lot longer to do uh, than I thought it would. I think this has been the uh, longest I've played for a single episode so far. Although we're only the third episode in. And uh, I'll put my armor on, by the way. Completely forgot to put that on after I crafted it. So, um, yeah, the defense has been set up all around the place. We're getting attacked over there on the right. Can we see it? Not really. It seems to be holding up, which is cool. So we might put down a few more turrets. So I've got 35 more. I've stopped production for now. So all of this stuff just backs up and it's not being used. So it means uh, everything else is fine again. And uh, you can see at the moment we're really not having a problem with anything at all. We've got potions here being made and on that side, but nothing's getting backed up, which is pretty cool. So we're kind of ready to expand. Um, but <laughs> yeah, setting up all of this defense just took quite a long time. And it does look like maybe we're going to need to expand the amount of fuel. Uh, fuel? I keep saying that for the uh, turrets. The amount of ammunition we're creating. So I might add a couple more of these over here. We could certainly do it with the amount of iron that we've got backed up, which is cool. Um, and then over on this side, by the way, we had all of the fuel backing up on one side of the track. So I put a splitter here and sent it around to the other side on there, which is a cool little thing. And uh, what we're going to do right now is just add some more steam engines to our system. We're going to expand this massively. In fact, how are we doing for uh, consumption over here? Let's have a look. So uh, we're doing okay at the moment. However, if we look at this, we might see... I'm not sure exactly what we're looking for. Um, yeah, like the occasional spikes from where we get attacked and then all the inserters start putting the fuel back in. Uh, ammunition back into the turrets, but it doesn't seem to be making that big of a difference. So we won't worry about that. Um, but we are going to put these down and I'm expecting to get attacked a lot more because of it. Because, uh, yeah, we're going to be creating a lot more pollution now, but also a lot more energy ready to expand. 
And uh, yeah, it looks like we've got another line to build down the bottom here. Can we actually start work on that? I'll probably do that another time. Uh, but I like this little setup that we got here. It's very compact, however, we are going to run out of space. I think what we need to do is mine up all of this stone. And uh, how much is left in there? Like 21k, 16k? That's just another job <laughs> to be done in the future. I think we're going to wrap things up here. It's been a fun episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. As always, if you have, please do leave a like. It will always be appreciated. So as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.